what is going on everybody it is j pace and we are here with a new series that i'm going to be trickling into the channel planet zoo basically it's uh building a zoo maintaining animals and their habitats Welcome and the it's quite the change of scenery from dreary old england huh <laughs> yeah theme park builder weather, I suppose. this is like a tutorial so i can kind of get used to how to play and we're going to walk through it and see uh how it goes it is an ape sanctuary where we're doing vitally important conservation work not just for apes but for all kinds of species but apes well apes are some of the closest relatives to humans there are and yet the way the world treats looks very detailed like, well, very much like some of us treat our actual relatives <laughs> anyway that's why i'm determined that our operation here oh, that's cool so with the good. trees and the if we can all leave little playgrounds that they have better state than we found it we have lived lives worth living. And speaking of states, I have a horrible feeling I left the house in a right one. <laughs> when I get back, I expect my life won't be worth living at all. <laughs> Those stores? Okay, so you have food courts, little food areas, bathrooms, janitors. So, okay, so it's... Anyway, this is I guess it's like a planet coaster, but just a zoo. I played it, listen, I played a little bit of this, but not enough to really go into detail. The red ruffed lemurs. They're the ones that look like they should be in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> Come on, let's head over to them. Well, let's head over to them. Looks like a cool park though with the waterfall. Alright. Um locate the highlight area. Locate the highlight area. Okay, so Red rust lemurs are found in the rainforests of Masuala. The same, in northeast same controls on the keyboard, which is good. They can actually live anywhere from 15 up to 25 years. Fancy that, eh? Okay, when you're ready, let's go find our Bornean orangutans. Go find the orangutans. Zoom out over here. The Bornean orangutan is such a over here. marvelous creature. There you go, Dilla. Favorite at any zoo they feature in. And Activate the animal the camera. Tree dwelling animal on the planet. Oh. Assuming you don't count any lions that got stuck up one. Hello. Why don't you take a better look at them? Open up their information panel. <laughs> That's cool. Animal. Get right up in there. Aren't they just incredible? Oh. When you're ready, let's go and have a look see at some of our beautiful bonobos. All right, <laughs> next one. Characters. Go over here. Oh dear! It looks like we've arrived just in time. One of the habitat's barriers has collapsed. Uh oh. And wouldn't you know it, one Over of the here. bonobos has made a run for it. We'll uh -oh. need to catch them. But before we do, we should box up the other bonobos to stop them escaping too. So box the animals in the habitat, hire a vet. Okay. Information panel. What do we gotta do here? How do we box them in? Good. Now open the animals tab. Animals tab? Okay. And click on box all animals to box up the remaining bonobos. Box a box all animals right here. Okay. We'll need a vet to recapture that escaped bonobo, but it seems our last one left to do some research in the wild. Not an ideal situation. So we'll need to hire a replacement, sharpish. Right, so Go into zoo. the zoo section and then into the staff management area. Staff management. You can find all of your staff in here, but there's no time to go looking at their particulars at the moment. Hire a vet. vet. Now click on one of the paths to place the vet in your zoo. Boom. Oh. Oh, okay, that's the relief. <laughs> so while the vet deals with our bonobo friend, let's okay. go fix up their habitat so they yes. can't escape again. So Head replace back the over wall. There. As you can see, the barriers collapsed. Someone's taken their eye Barriers were damaged. Use mechanic. Let's get this one replaced. Select the barrier and then we'll edit it. Delete the broken section of barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. And we need to delete. Good. There we go. Now that we've done that, we need to make sure to add climb proof barriers to the top. That way the bonobos won't be able to climb out. Just make sure you've got the correct piece of barrier selected barrier. when you do that. Okay, so go into the options section and select which side the climb-proof barrier needs to go on. 
and don't get it wrong. <laughs> We're more worried about bonobos climbing out than guests climbing in. Um, her barrier top? No. Oh, climb proof this side. Nope, left side. Nicely there we go. done. And I think it's high time we. Okay, this is gonna be a lot of uh, trial and error here for me to figure these buttons out. Might still get sad if we leave them in there for too long. Select the habitat barrier to bring up the habitat information panel again. Habitat. And then open animals. the animals tab. And finally, click unbox on unbox all animals, all there animals we go. to let them out. Okay, so that's good. So if there's an emergency, you can box them up real quick. And then you can handle whatever needs to be handled. It turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. We'll need to hire a couple of new ones so we can help zoo. stop any more breakouts. Hire a mechanic. You see, mechanics do all sorts of helpful things around the zoo. those. But one of their most important jobs is taking care of the habitat barriers. <laughs> Without mechanics around to repair them, the barriers will crack, crumble, and fall down. Looks like I'm and unlocking. The oh, unlock some new uh, escaped animals. Go into the zoo animals? section and then into the staff management area. Lady, I'm I'm way past you. Okay. Oh, gosh, we have been busy, haven't we? Yeah. Good work there. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie wants a word with you. Who wants a word with me? Oh. oh. I guy, knew you Bernie. had a bit of an issue with an escaped bonobo. The yeah, we did. The main thing is that you dealt with it swiftly. And more importantly, without the animals stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front gate. Oh my gosh. You see, another key responsibility for our vets is animal research. Researching animals allows vets to unlock new enrichment. So imagine, items, well, you can clearly see that this is going to be a habitat of some sort here. Enhanced breeding programs. They have a place for people to, to, to look. <laughs> <laughs> the animals food not the vets it'll take more than a I also imagine that at some point we'll be building this from like the ground up research is a key part let's see if we can do we just did the bronze for a vet to undertake research they require a research we'll do uh and once again that's something that this zoo is missing so let's build one I've marked out an area for you to put it now you've probably noticed that there's already a building where I want you to build the research center. Yep. Don't worry. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell. So gotcha. we're able to place our new building inside of it. If you right, select so the facilities. research center for placement and then hover over the shell, Staff facilities. you'll see that it asks if you want to add the research, research center to the center. existing building. Okay, click to add it to the building. Oh, but that won't place it in just yet, though. First, we'll need to rotate our research center so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. Rotate is of oh, Z. There we go. Like that? Is it like this? I feel, I, how do I feel like I didn't do it? Why do I feel like yeah, I didn't do it? Um... Rid of this. There you go. So facilities research. Rotate it. It was like the door supposed to be here. Oh, there you go. Okay. Did that do it? Didn't do it either. Right. Oh, there Splendid we go. Splendid work. Now that we have a brand spanking new research center, we can give our vets something to do in there. Oh, by the way, it's worth noting that the vets will only do research when they're not required to do any other jobs. Okay. That said, you can change what jobs a vet does via their information panel. But let's not worry about that just now. So, let's get our vet researching ring-tailed lemurs. Go into the zoo section and select vet research. Vet research. Here, you can see a list of all the animals present in your okay. zoo, and also all the potential diseases. Ring-tailed lemur. Now, drag and drop your vet onto the ring-tailed lemur to start their research. Where's the ring-tailed lemur? Drag and drop a vet. 
Where's my vet? Oh, okay. Right here. Boom. Here we go. Actually, thinking about it, I'm not sure we've got any education boards or speakers by the lemur's habitat. Let's head over there and add some, so our guests can learn all about the furry little delights. Okay, I'm over First here off, now. Let's pop down two education boards. Place them on the habitat barriers at a height that guests can see, or if you like, pop them down on a stand. Let's see facilities. <laughs> Education board. Rotate. I have to put them where she said to put them? Oh. Oh no, I don't want that. Rotate. Okay, now that they've been put into position, we have to tell them what animal to display information about. Select one of the education boards to bring up its information panel. And from the drop down list, select ring tailed lemur. Uh, Although I'm sure that lemur. last part was obvious. I to do for all when of you them? link an education board yeah, or a speaker to an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. If it isn't, the guests will get confused and won't learn as much. Yo. Okay. Okay. Now that we've done the education board, let's pop down a pair of speakers. Speakers play audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals. Instead of having to go through the laborious process of reading. Oh, one thing to bear in mind is mm -hmm. that it's important not to put the speakers too close together. If you do, the guests won't be able to understand what's being said. Now we simply need to link the speakers to the ring-tailed lemurs. Just like you did with the education boards. Alright, there we go. The lemur. I don't think they're too close Fantastic. together. Fantastic. Oh, it's worth remembering that education boards and speakers both need power to work. Okay. They won't do much good without it. Ooh, it looks as though our vet has completed their research on ring-tailed lemurs. We'll need to collect the results. We can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into the vet research area. Where was that building over here? Um, collect. Go on, collect your research rewards. There we go. Just so you know, vets will continue to research an animal even after successfully completing a research level. <laughs> I suppose when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. Okay. Well, now that we've enriched the lives of our guests, let's enrich the lives of our ring-tailed lemurs. That's how the ring-tailed lemurs climbable so area. Like okay. Lemurs, now we're going to build some lemurs. some playgrounds that for them. They have a requirement for a certain amount of climbing space, and you can fulfill that requirement Habitat. by building them a climbing frame. Let's find Enrichment out how much more climbing space our climbable. lemur friends need, shall we? Got Select it. one of them and bring up their information panel. Oh. Next, click on the terrain tab. Terrain, got ah, it. Now, as you can see, the lemurs need quite a lot more climbing space. But as it happens, I've already got a climbing frame blueprint built for you. So you can either pop that down or build one yourself from scratch. By the way, it's not always just climbing needs that you have to worry about. Is it Other this animals one? might need a certain amount of water in their habitat so they can this go one? for a swim. Lemur climbing frame. They certainly do keep us on our toes. Oh, that's a great climbing frame for them. They're going to absolutely love it. Do you know what would make them even happier, though? Nicer food. But that's true of all Except of us. the ringtail lemur food to you grade two. You can unlock two. better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs, so all that remains is to make sure they get. Game runs very smooth, though. On. Let's bring up the habitat information panel by selecting the lemur habitat. Oh. 
Select the habitat. Lovely. Now okay. select the animals tab. Animal. There we go. Oh, food As quality see, to we two. We can set the food quality in here. Just Got click it. on the drop down menu and select grade two food quality. Grade two food quality. My mouth's already watering. Right, do we do it? So, a new climbing frame and better food. Oh, yeah, two. you've okay. really so spoiled those lemurs rotten. <laughs> Now, now we gotta locate the highlight area. One of the zoo's most important responsibilities: releasing animals into the wild. I don't see. You see, when we feel an animal is ready, oh, we can yet. release okay. them into the wild. But what makes an animal a good candidate for release? Release them back to the wild. Well, that's cool. Which is an important factor. I mean, we can't release an animal that's a juvenile, just as we can't release one that's gotten too old. They'll also need to be fertile. After all, the idea is to repopulate the wild, so the best candidates will have a high fertility gene. And together, the age and fertility of a candidate will determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release them. Now, conservation credits are vitally important. Mm -hmm. They're the lifeblood of your zoo, because earning them oh, allows you to adopt area. even more animals. Release. And what's more, the animals you can adopt will be of a higher quality. The wild. So, with that in mind, let's pop over to our orangutan habitat. Okay, I'd like you to find Ageng, the Bornean orangutan in the habitat, and select him, please. You can either click through there each is. orangutan in turn, or select the habitat barrier, go to the animals tab in the habitat information panel, and find him in the animals list. Oh, you can do it right there. Okay. Got it. Release to the wild. Release. I know it's sad to see him go, but he'll be happy out in the wild. And he's a wonderful candidate for release. Not young, bad. Strong and I'm getting used time. to the menus at least. Excellent work there. You definitely got potential, you know. Locate the highlight area. Ah, I see you've been doing oh, Bernie's some back. Work. Although it hardly seems like work when you're learning about something as adorable as a ring tailed lima. Again, guys, this is just a tutorial, just so I can get used to how the game plays. We'll be building zoos and all that fun stuff in the coming episodes. Now let's build, build a Gila monster exhibit. Okay. Just add it to the building like we did with the research center earlier. Then pop it into the gap. Ammo exhibits. Exhibit. Oh. Okay, why are you being all freaky? Perfect. The okay. next thing to do is adopt an exhibit animal to go in there. How about a Gila monster? Open up the exhibit trading section and adopt one. Exhibit trading. I would say there's only one in the list. Adopt. Just as we do with habitat animals, we need to send the Gila monster to the exhibit. Click on the exhibit to send it there. Send to zoo. When you send an animal to an exhibit, it'll automatically be given the correct setup. That's cool. But that doesn't mean it's completely oh. ready for them. So let's finish it off. Enrichment. We'll start by adding some enrichment items. Click on the exhibit to bring up its information panel. Got it. Good. Now click on the layout tab. Got it. Oh, well, it looks like we've only got the enrichment level one items unlocked at the moment. Never mind. Let's turn on at least one of them for the healer monster. As oh. I'm sure you know by now, we you go. can unlock more hiding place. levels by having one of your vets do some research. Okay. Now we'll also need to set the temperature and humidity in the exhibit. These are vitally important for keeping our healer monster happy and comfortable. Click on the climate tab. Uh huh. Here you can see the Gila monster's desired temperature and humidity. You gotta change you can that. change both of these by adjusting the dials. But Hold on settings, interface, game, fix. Why oh, the resolution is so small? Um. Where is Fahrenheit? Uh, 
Uh, well, I'll find it. No. Uh, right, we'll Make click on this. sure it's going to be nice and cozy. The temperature is okay. Humidity is not. Range 15 to 20 percent. 15 to 20 percent. There you go. 17 percent humidity. There we go. That's the ticket. And the last thing we need to look at is setting up the different windows. So okay. click on the Windows tab. You can edit and customize any of the windows on an exhibit. A window can be closed and blank or have a two-dimensional background. So which windows is back one? Or a three-dimensional background on it. Why don't you have a play around with the options? I want to close that back one. There's also an there exhibit go. education board. Pop them down near your exhibit to teach go. your guests about them. Let's add one now. Uh, increase the Gilmont's education rating. Place one exhibit board. Okay, so that was facilities. Exhibit board. Well, I guess we'll put it oh, somewhere in this area. So we'll go spin this around there. And we'll change this to Not even in the list. Lemur, hippopotamus, orangutan, lemur, bunt. Not in here. It's in the area, right? Yeah. Let's see. Place one exhibit education board for Gila Monster. Okay, so facilities. Exhibit education. Hab oh, habitat. Oh, is it different? Exhibit education. Oh, here, this thing. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I, I put the wrong thing in. That's my fault. Get rid of, get rid of this. This. Click on the board. Kill a monster. Lovely stuff. Go. Now our guests can learn all about our venomous friend here. Right now, I've got a bit of a big. I have at least twelve species I in the zoo. We have nine. I need to increase species in the zoo. You'll probably want to adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so, which will mean building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. Go okay. on, off you pop. I'll check in with you when you're almost done. I, like, I can copy these duplicate. I want to copy. I just, I just want to copy just this one. Copy, duplicate. Oh no. I can't like. I can do that. Okay. So then if we go to copy this and put this somewhere else, let's see where we can put this. Hmm. Oh, we can put it over here. That'd be cool. All right, and then we can um, animal trading. Let's see, animal storage, trade history, rewards. So, how do you know if they can go into a exhibit compared to a habitat? Oh, here we go. So we do frog. Stop the frog. Send the zoo. Boom. Put them in here. Here we go. What else we got? Get one of these. What does this mean? Now let's do this. Adopt this. Send the zoo here. Okay. Now let's look at the habitat. Layout. Not researched yet. That's fine. Temperature. Temperature's good. 
And how about this one? Climb it, so you need to lower the... What? 50 to 60, okay. So we'll put it at like 53. There we go. Put a little branch in there. Like that. Get in there, and then this one. Exhibit itself needs layout. I don't have anything researched yet, so we gotta research the Goliath frog. Uh, research center. Do research. Goliath frog. We're gonna put you on that one. All right. So I mean, I'm learning a little bit here, right? I don't. I believe that this is just floating in the sky. But it let me put it there, and we're gonna go with it. <laughs> Construction, architecture, light signs. Okay. Oh, and let's put um. What was those things? Facility, education board. All right. We gotta put the one there. One here. This is gonna be for the. By the frog. And this is no. Sorry, this is for the lesser and okay. Oh, that's you. And that's you. There we go. Perfect. We put them all on. Is that too much? I guess we'll see. But people, look, people are already over here checking it out. That's great. So once the research is done, then we should be able to get some enrichment and it'll bump that number up. Nobody wants to see my, uh, my iguana. There we go. Okay, I want to make sure people are actually going there. All right, um, let's see. How do you check? Can you check the status of the research? Like how far along it is? That building, here it is. Oh, so I guess this needs to... Oh, there's the research, okay, level one. All right, so we'll let that go. And how many more we have? We have to do, we have 10, we have to get two more species. I feel like, I don't know if I'm ready to do a big habitat yet might just do another little one of those so if we just copy these copy let's whoa what did i just do no <laughs> give me this give it five yeah okay so copy that nope it's not what i want to do either how do I get this? Yes. Copy. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Um. I, mean, I could put it right next to each other. Can I rotate it? Or no. We could do that. There we go. Cool. All right, we'll just do that then. Just for sake of, uh, you know, making it easy for ourselves. Adopt. Send to zoo. And let's get this one. Adopt. Send to zoo. Yeah. Alright, so this is the cockroach. Get some of these in here. Climate, we need the humidity to drop down to 60 to 80. So we'll put that in the 70. So, 70, 55 range, there we go. Um, what else do we need here? The layout, that's it. Snail, you need what? You need this, this, and this. Climate, you need 40 to 60. There we go. Then facility, some more of these signs here. Is 
is the giant burrowing cockroach. And this is, click on it. Hey, get out of my way. Snail. Perfect. Did it work? Yeah. <laughs> Green just looks blank to me. Alright, um, so layout and this one needs exhibit. But I gotta do some research, I think, on it, right? And we need level we need level two of the snail. Welfare. Oh no power. How do we get this one has power right yeah how do i get power there's my tutorial lady power no facilities power I delete this one. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Put it back. <laughs> no power. Empty. Alright, so. In the zoo. There we go. There's a speaker's overlapping. Oh, okay. So. How do we move this? Move it over here. Did I put it like on the glass? Where did I put it? It's floating in the sky. <laughs> um, move. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see what's here. Animal is not in ideal humidity. This one? Oh no, snail. This one. Temperature uh, 40 to 60. So. There you go. But there's no power. I don't know how to get power. What do we have? No, we don't have power. Hmm. Connected to the pathway. Alert. Humidity. Habitat. Nature facilities. I'm saying all of them. Animal, guest, staff, keeper hut, vet, quarantine, staff room, workshop, trade center. Oh, utilities, here you go, power. Solar panel, transformer, wind turbine. What if we put a solar panel up top? Maybe back here? Can we just put it? Am I on the ground or I'm floating, aren't I? I'm floating. Do we have power now? Yes, we have power. Good. So now we can do this. Do this. Perfect. I don't really know how someone's going to get to that, but you know what? For sake of just completing this, <laughs> I think we're okay. So this is good. This is good. Uh, layout. Add some of this stuff in there. Climate needs to go. Oh, climate's good, actually. Put that down a little bit more so it's in good range. Do we ever get something for this yet? Layout. Still being researched. So we have 11 species. It looks like we still need one more. 
Because I thought that would have been enough, but how about this one? Is this one okay? Oh, that's really good. Temperatures are good. All right. I don't know why people aren't going to those, though. I feel like people are, like, kind of lost in this area. Like, they're just... Walking in circles. <laughs> but, all right. Um, let's see. Exhibit trading. Animal trading. What do I need for this? Size. Hmm. I don't know. Is that like a little hippo in the middle? I don't think I have another species that I could do, right? I did this. I have the cockroach. I thought I would have had enough. People, okay, so people are going there. I don't know why they're not going, like... I don't want to go this way, I guess. Uh, visiting player. Oh, those are, like, real people visiting. Um, Alright, so we gotta... I guess we gotta do one more. We gotta figure out one more... Animal. I mean, we could do this. Let's see, habitat. Or is it facilities? How do I build a wall? Wall? No. Constru oh, construction. There we go. Wall? Uh, long wall. Here we go. If I build this... I mean, it has a ramp here. I don't know if I really want a ramp. Do all of them have ramps? How do the staff get in? That's my question. All right, so let's see. If we put this here. Like, I don't even know where to start. If I want this to become a exhibit. Heaters, coolers, facilities. Blueprints? How much money do I have? I got $207,000, so I got money. On animal trading. Does it just say that research is complete? That. Go back by that. Actually, let's do snail. Go back by that thing real quick. I think it was this one, right? Yeah. There we go. I would just do another small one, but there's I don't think there's any other species that I don't have. I have a frog. I'll get another one. It's in here right now. We're burrowing cockroach. Oh no, let's see. This is this adopt send to zoo. Here. There we go. We should have two of them in here now. We do, okay. Perfect. Look at the amount of people trying to get to this thing. Nobody cares about this iguana. <laughs> Everyone wants to see the frog and the snail. Which is, which is interesting. Just let me know. Alright, so I, I, I'm pretty sure the game wants you to build something here. So if I go facility, I go construction. Right, let's get a wall here. 
I just don't know what to do about these ramps. I don't want animals walking up the ramps. Again, this is just tutorial, so you know what? We're gonna do this. Um. It's gonna be very, you know, rough. I'll tell you right now. Very rough. Oh, this is, is that even on the ground? It's not even on the ground, is it? Yeah, there's this one. Okay. Let's get, let's get rid of all this. It's not fenced in, but there's water, right? So they can't really... Really escape. I'm gonna just do this, ready? I wanna see what happens. This might be a bad idea, but this, this, this. Invalid destination. What did I just adopt? Alright, let's see. What do you need? Trade Center, Customs, Seizure. Habitat. Barriers? Oh, here we go. Wooden logs. Okay, so if we go... Can I draw like a fence? Oh, I can. Okay, so if we go here, there we go. Then here, 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 here. that All right and then barrier we need to get a habitat gate there we go not add multiple oh Get rid of this constructed we get rid of this this is like, I just want to click, there you go, select the door, select the door and destroy. What is this? I just want to get rid of this door. Oh, edit barrier. There we go. And let's see, length, glass. I delete this. There we go. Okay. Jeez. Perfect. There we go. Now I want habitat. Or can I hold on? Can I put this animal in here? There we go. Put the animal in there. No one's gonna be able to see it, but it's okay. Edit barrier. Let's see. I want to do eight barriers. Like climb proof on this side, I guess. I don't even know if this animal can climb. I don't know what the animal is. Window, glass. There you go. Glass, glass, glass. So you could see in. Okay. Now where's the is the animal on its way? Oh, here we go. We're bringing it. I think that's them. My my, you have been busy. Oh, okay. You? So that, yeah, that thing ain't climbing. 
but now that you've adopted all these lovely new species, we okay, need to so make we gotta sure do nice terrain, hard happy. shelter. Okay. So let's get the average welfare across so the zoo. Habitat. Nice high, shall we? And by we, I mean you. Food and water. Go on, get to it. Large food bowl. Uh, beds and shelter. So we need some hard shelter. I don't know if that's what it needs, but uh, navigable. Oh, it needs a swimming area too. Jeez. Okay, let's see. We need a, like a big. Here we go. Put this one back here. There we go. There's some hard shelter. Enrichment items. Coverage. Animal requires more plant and tree coverage. Okay. get some trees in here no oh, that's a proper tree for this okay there we go Enrichment, um, food enrichment, and toy enrichment. Okay. okay. So South Central America. We go here and we do filter. South Central. There we go. There we go. Now we can get some of these things in here. In the proper. Go. Okay. I like it. What else do you need? You need a swimming area. I want you to do a swimming area. Habitat. Large, large water bowl. Food and water. Water pipe. We can do that. I think we could do this. Big food trough. Uh, underwater plant feeder. Fl no. Feeding station, large food bowl. I have this, but not suitable species. All right, so let's get rid of this. Accessible, accessible, accessible. Okay. All right, what else do you need, pal? You need enrichment. Boy enrichment. Okay, so we're gonna go to habitat. Um, toy enrichment. Filter. Species. Boom. There we go. What do you got? Nothing. Okay. How about here? Rubbing pillar. There we go. Okay. Small ball. Tire. If box. Food enrichment. Okay, so food enrichment is a large barrel feeder. A food spike pole. A couple of these. Forage box. All right. I mean, overall, besides the navigable swimming area, which I don't know how I even do that. Beds and shelters, food and water, heaters and coolers, nature, gardening, rocks, 
facility construction prop signs special effects like is there a i have to look that up i guess how do i make a swimming area I don't think it's it. Let's see. Swim? No. Swim? No. Construction? Water? No. Swim? No. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to look up how to do the swimming part of it. I don't even see a... Oh, here, maybe... Oh, terrain. Here we go. Here we go. So, if I go... No, I want to go with water. Um, oh, here you go. Salad. There you go. There's some water. Is that good? Is that good enough for you? Yes. You got it. Navigable swimming area. Look at that. Look at all the people checking it out. So then we'll go to facilities. Oh, you have facilities? This. And we'll do a. We'll do a education sign, right? Z over here. Or no, let's do the, do the TV. And set this to this here. Go. Oh, no, no power. Always no power. I don't understand the no power thing. Does power go through the, the walkway? Like, what happens here? All right, we'll have to figure out the power. But, yeah, I mean, the... Little guy looks happy. I mean, it's a... It's, a, it's kind of a simple... Let's see, actually. Can we get another one? Yeah, we can. Okay, so let's get... This one sent to zoo here. And we'll get another one. This one sent to do here. I don't know if I could have that many in here, but we'll see. We're going to have, what, three of them in here eventually? We have one right now. Let's get that food quality up to two. Available food. I mean, we got to figure out. Some of this keeper food get some food in here keeper urgently assigned there you go we'll get some food in here for these animals and we'll get a couple more delivered so we'll have three here um the the power thing i have to figure out okay there comes another one facilities utilities power this power now oh it does so i guess it just needs to be like nearby yeah that's good now we have power oh, look we got two more yeah right in the water right in the water all right then you're gonna go in here and you're gonna hopefully get some food going for them You know, he's cleaning the place up. Are you gonna put food in here? Oh, I'm just gonna assume you're gonna get some food in here, but we'll we'll have to check back. But uh, what's this? Do power inaccessible? Construction. Do we have like a pathway? Design, architecture, lights, centerpieces, props, special effects, art shapes, facilities. Oh, path, here you go. Hunt. 
turn this around. Move. Uh, Z, Z. There we go. And path. I still can't put a path there. Path. I go up. Nope. Two path. There we go. That should be better. And then research complete. Then we can move you to move you to these. Okay. All right, and I think that um, increase average habitat species overall welfare to eighty to ninety percent. Okay. Outsider overpopulation. The first one I had, or no? Oh, this is the first one I had. Okay, so then we got to go. Hmm. Animal trading. Okay, history rewards. Uh, well, we gotta, I guess, take care of. Sure, or introduce an overpopulated habitat, unable to breed and interact. Well, that's not good. Alright, so we'll have to take a look at that one. But all right, everybody, that is our first episode of Planet Zoo. We kind of walked through the tutorial. We did most of it. Obviously, we have to go around going and looking at the exhibits and just increasing them to. Uh, why is there no food? I don't understand. Well, I guess maybe we just need more people? Staff? Hire a caretaker? A keeper? Maybe we just don't have enough. Right, we'll get three more of them. Let them go do some things. Um, Yeah, so thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you like this type of stuff. But we are going to be messing around with it a little bit. Um, that has not been attended. No vet, no vet, no vet. Okay. Uh, no, not vendor. Need a vet. Vet. And a vet. There we go. Get them going. We'll get some vets, uh, mingling around. But, alright guys, I will see you all next one. Throw some comments down below of what you thought. Obviously, eventually we're going to be building our own zoo from scratch. This is just a tutorial to get us going. But uh, yeah, I will see you all on the next one.